just a minute. This is a press conference. The last thing I want to do is answer a lot of questions. So, I just had to respond to this Dear White Guys thing. Yeah, Dear White Guys. If you haven't watched it already, you can watch it. I'll put a link below to several of the variations of it. Probably going to use the Tea Partyist as the example, but go ahead and watch it if you haven't already. If you have and you want to hear people's opinion, well, here's mine. We are not privileged. First off, nobody got anywhere in America unless they were white. Hmm. What was her name? Bubba West or something like that? Oh, I can't remember it off the top of my head. But let's do a search of the first millionaire woman on Google and see what pops up and when this woman became a millionaire because that will tell us at what time period women started to gain some traction in the rights movement, you know, because obviously before the women's suffrage movement, women had no rights before. Yeah, all that. So we're going to do a Google search. Ready? Who was the first millionaire woman? Madam C.J. Walker. According to Wikipedia, Sarah Breedlove, known as Madam C.J. Walker, was an African-American entrepreneur, philanthropist, and a political and social activist. Hmm. Okay, what does it say? Madam C.J. Walker, uh, born on December 23rd, 1867? Whoa, wait a minute. 1860 fucking seven! 18, 1867? That doesn't compute. She died at May 20. 5th, 1919. 1919? This is 18 and 1900s. 1800s this woman was born. What? This can't be right, can it? And C.J. Walker, yeah. She wasn't even the first millionaire woman. She was the first millionaire black woman. Well, whoop the freaking do it. Does anybody else get that? And l let me reiterate. She was living between 1867 and 1919. Okay? Now, get, let all the liberals, let that sink in your brain. 1867 to 1919. 1867 to 1919. Our country was formed in 1776, about 1800. By the end of the first hundred years, there was a woman millionaire. And racist, aggressionist, you know, downtrodden, black-hating, woman-hating America... 1867, first black woman millionaire. Okay, C.J. Walker. You can look her up. Madam C.J. Walker. So blow that out of the water. There goes your men all uh, ran the country. We want, ran the country. Now, in order to make up for it, we're going to bash white men. You know what? It sucks to be a white guy. You know why? Because automatically you're racist and you're sexist. You mansplain things. With what? Facts, statistics, and logic? Hmm. Who? Who would do that? That's just stupid. I just... I can't. I, I really can't. I just... I want to put these people in a stranglehold and yell at them. What the f*** is wrong with you? Really? What is wrong with you? That you think all white men are bad. Like... People voted for Trump because of this type of crap. We're sick and tired of being told you have to be tolerant of other religions. Therefore, you can't say God or Christmas anywhere in the country. Well, I thought tolerance was allowing all religions to practice freely, not targeting Christianity and saying in the name of tolerance we'll snuff you out of all the schools, of all the public places. Well, that's the opposite of toler tolerant. You look it up the dictionary, tolerant means all inclusives, not to be judgmental, but you're being judgmental in the name of non judgmentality or whatever. Who thinks of these things? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna ramble for like two hours if I don't cut this off right now, but you get the basic gist of where I'm coming from, white guys, right? And all you black guys and women and everybody else who probably feel the same way I do, you hate this, right? Like, come on. Or African American, do I have to be politically correct? No, I'm white, you're black. Who cares? First off, I don't even see that. I see people, and then I see men and women. Then I see American, then I see all the other stuff, Christian, Muslim, whatever. But first and foremost, there's people. We should all look at each other and see people, but what do I know? Just some random hick hillbilly who voted for Trump. Well, sign up. Oh, and a shout out. Relatives of mine, if you're not going to actually listen to what the fuck I have to say, 
Don't watch my videos. I mean, that is so annoying. Get the hell off my back. I don't care if you're doing it in my best interest, but you busybody liberal relatives that want to get involved in my business without listening to the videos I'm actually posting, screw off. You don't have to buy me anything for Christmas. You don't have to be nice to me anymore. I don't want that type of crap, okay? You're grown-ups. You're not my parents. And even when I had parents when I was under 18, I didn't like it when other adults told me what to do. So don't. And stop it. Sayonara, guys. This is HE7. Hawkeye7 on Twitter, Facebook, Pines. On Twitter, I'm from the Ashes 12. But I'm everywhere. Just look up Hawkeye007 or Hawk0I007 and I will pop up. Well, it's been nice talking to you. Hopefully you feel the same way I do because this pisses me off. Oh, there's a stop button.